Okay, and the owls eat when? Night. During the night. Now they eat the same type of foods, okay, but they split it up. Like I said, the hawks eat during the day, the owls eat at night. So they're both able to get the same kind of food. All right, so this is one of the most common hawks we have in North America. All right, so, and it's one of the largest. So, how, how much do you think that bird might weigh? Anybody want to throw out some guesses? Raise your hand. Ten pounds? Five. Five? Three. Three? Fifteen? Twenty? Eleven? Ten? Well, that boy over there that said three, you, you win. Yay! Because feathers are very light, okay? Um, also, the, the bones of a bird are hollow lots of times, okay? They're hollow inside. Are people's bones hollow inside? No. 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 They're strong. They have stuff inside. It's called marrow, okay? All right, so, have you guys seen any feeding programs here before with the hawk? No. no? Okay, do you have any? What kind of food do you think I might be feeding this hawk? Fish. Fish? Mouse. Mouse? Mice. Dead mice? Berries? Rat. Rat? Um, worms. Worms. Okay, okay. so a bird of prey is um, something that has talons, right? It has very sharp claws called talons. It also has a very sharp beak for ripping and tearing the flesh. All right. Oh. Now, if I would, do you think I'm still gonna feed it berries? No. Mm. No. These birds like to eat. Uh huh. <laughs> they like to eat meat, so they're carnivores. Okay. Anything that likes to eat meat is a carnivore. Sometimes, if they can't find food. They might eat something that's dead on the side of the road. Okay? Like worms? That's called carrion. Alright. Did you have a question? Like a raccoon Did you have or something. A question? Like dad. No, no, no. Okay, I thought you were raising your hand. Oh, okay. Alright. So. Alright, so whoever said rats, mice, squirrels, those kind of things are right. Sometimes they'll eat birds, but more most of the time they won't eat birds, okay? The hawks that like to eat birds are probably Cooper's hawks or sharp shin hawks. Okay, and I want you guys to do some homework for me. When you're leaving the schoolhouse today and you're driving to your home or wherever you're going after this, I want you to look on the side of the road and I want you to count how many red-tailed hawks you see, okay? You guys got to use your eyes. You got to look. They like to perch up high in the trees, okay, or sometimes on telephone poles, really, sometimes on high signs or lights, all right, so keep your eyes open on the way home and count how many red-tailed hawks you can see, all right, all right, let me see if this guy's hungry.
especially like this one that's here, the only reason we have them is because um, they have very good eyesight, okay? And a lot of times they're hunting and it might be near a road. Well, they're not thinking about watching for cars. All they're thinking about is eating. So a lot of times they'll dive down and they won't see the car and, that, and then they get hit and then their wings are messed up, they might be broken, so a lot of times they come here. So all these birds that you see here, they're not, they're either hurt or injured from accidents like that when they're hunting, or another reason that the birds might be here is something called imprinted birds, okay? I'm gonna explain what imprinted means. It means someone had found that, uh, that owl or that hawk as got the coyote when it was a baby and so it can never be released in the wild when they're imprinted because it will always go by people now wouldn't you be kind of afraid if an animal started coming after you you'd be like wow why is this coyote or why is this owl or hawk coming after me so they can never be released in the wild they have to stay in a zoo or a nature center someplace like this where they get fed and they stay there for the rest of their life and then they're used as an educational tool okay you can see them up close. Yes. Yeah. 